Alright, so we got the 3D prints in, and I wanted to give you guys a quick showing of what the sprues are going to look like and how all the pieces will fit together. So you'll be getting something like this, but these are just 3D prints of the pieces, so the resolution will be a lot better when you receive them. So I'm going to put it together real quick. We've made it so that it almost goes together without any glue using snap-ins and snap-ons, and I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of that. So the tripod head comes in two pieces. Uh, you've got the holes on one side and the pegs on the other. And those just slot right into each other. And then in the front gap, we have the face. Which just slides right in. For the leg assembly, it's made out of one base piece with slots in it, with matching sections on the legs, so that they slide right in. You'll connect the base to the head using an intermediary piece that slots right on top. Just like that. Let me give him his face back. And there you have it. The reaper tentacle slot in as well, right in between the legs. As you can see, it almost goes together without glue, but it wouldn't hurt to have a little. Um, right underneath there is going to be this cap, which will be glued in and seal everything together. In the front, you'll have similar sections just like these with the slots and the pegs to put in your heat rays. and your arms. And once that's complete, you have pretty close to completed tripod model. So obviously you're going to want to use a little bit of glue there, but you can see that the snap-ins and snap-ons and the slots and pegs will go a long way towards getting it together. But what's really interesting is the third leg, we've developed an assembly with several different points of articulation so that it's fully poseable and you can do a lot of neat stuff with it. It has several different points. One of them is the hip joint, which is a ball and socket. And that's what connects to the main tripod body. In addition to that, you have another point of articulation at the leg here. And a final one down towards the claw. So as you can see, this gives you a lot of variability and a lot of options when it comes to posing it and putting it together. So I hope what you've seen today has got you excited. Uh, we're well on the way. And thanks for watching.